Hey friends, Andrew here, hope you're well. Robot vacuum cleaners have always been an interesting proposition. They help with a big chore, which is cleaning, mopping, and vacuuming. And I've been through a fair share of robot vacuum cleaners, and unless you're going for the top of the range, more often than not, they've been disappointing. And instead of vacuuming dust, they've sat in storage collecting dust. But this, this is the new Narwhal Frio self-cleaning robot vacuum, and it's different. It's one of the most advanced and feature-rich self-cleaning robot vacuum cleaners, and I've had the chance to test it out in my own studio over the last month. Considering the Narwhal Frio costs a considerable $1,300, let's see what makes it so different, if it can truly automate a big chore, and if it's worth actually buying. First things first, let's unbox this together. I'll be setting this up in my office and studio setup, which is almost a thousand square feet in size with a mix of floorboards, tiles, and rugs. So it does take a decent chunk of time cleaning this space and any time back in our busy lives is always welcome. So I actually first heard about the Narwhal Frio and T10 vacuums through TikTok and I loved how self-sufficient and minimal its design is. So when Narwhal reached out as a sponsor to send this Frio over, I naturally said yes to this tech gadget. So thank you to Narwhal for sending this over. So set up out of the box is a breeze. Fill the base docking station up with water and its cleaning solution too. Plug in the base docking station in, plug in the color-coded side brushes into the Frio, slot the Frio into the dock, and set it up via its display here with the companion app. It's also worth mentioning that one of Frio's big new improvements over its predecessor, the T10, is Frio's fully integrated mop heads, which were previously an add-on attachment. Now let's take a look at its design. Where most robot vacuums are sterile in design, I think, the Narwhal Frio is sleek as heck in light mode, white, and has unsurprisingly won design awards for it. It's very unassuming in its all white glossy plastic, discreet Narwhal brand mark here, and unobtrusive camera sensors which include LiDAR. On the bottom side, the Frio has two rounded triangle microfiber pads that it uses for mopping, plus two side brushes and a main roller brush in the middle that it uses for vacuuming. And although this may not be important to some, the fact that this tech gadget will be living in plain sight in your common room, in your home, I think its design aesthetic is an important part and important consideration in integrating into your home seamlessly. And thankfully, I personally like the design. Moving on to the base docking station, this thing is made to be self-sufficient and is pretty worthy of praise. Just like the Frio itself, the dock is also well designed and it features some seriously cool elements I haven't previously seen in a self-cleaning robot vacuum cleaner. Firstly, it's unique in the sense that it literally eats up the entire vacuum and almost hides it away from view, unlike most other docks. It resembles more of like this hibernation cave that encompasses the entire vacuum, something I haven't personally seen before. Typically, you'll see the vacuum sitting completely open to view on the dock. On the front right hand corner, there's this recessed LCD display, which I haven't seen on a base dock either before. And I think it's pretty genius. It gives you full control of the vacuum right from the display without even touching the app on your phone. It displays everything from the status and battery life to the device settings and all its five different cleaning modes. The dual vacuum and mop mode, vacuum then mop mode, Frio mode, vacuum mode or mop mode. It has this nifty auto feed feature too by placing the custom Narwhal lemon and basil cleaner into the base station upside down right here. It then trickles the cleaning solution into the robot's mops so it washes the floors with not just water but with water and a subtly scented cleaning solution for an extra thorough clean. It's incredibly nice. Where most previous robot vacuum cleaners I've used only clean with water, this extra addition goes a long way in keeping tiles and floorboards extra clean and bright, but more about its mopping and vacuuming performance in a second. When the Frio auto docks back into its base station, the tanks fill up with dirty water after its mop, 
And these water tanks are easy to take out and empty and then fill up again with clean water so it's ready to manage its next clean. It definitely, definitely gets brownie points for its feature pack design, but of course the real test and worthiness comes in its vacuuming performance. So let's take a look at how it vacuums and mops. So it's safe to say over the last few weeks, the mopping performance of the Narwhal Frio is a standout. The unique combination of Narwhal's cleaning solution, auto-adjusted downward force of mopping pads, and gentle heat cleaning turns this studio space smelling squeaky, fresh, and nice to the touch when barefoot. Its mop head and side brushes are even retractable so there's no cross-contamination. Before and after every mop, the mop heads are heated to 40 degrees in the base station, which is about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and this ensures that the mops are both properly dried and bacteria is killed off and not spread around the floor around the home, which is pretty nasty. So with all the work that I do in here, unboxing things, moving furniture around, having guests over, the floorboards get pretty dirty pretty fast, and it needs a mop at least once a week. And post mop by the Frio, I can noticeably feel and see a difference in cleanliness and the fact that it does it automatically without any of my input is such a game changer. And I likely have the Frio cleaning mode to thank. It's my favorite cleaning mode and it's worth mentioning because it's yet another feature that makes this robot vacuum unique. The Frio mode is essentially an AI supported clean mode that actively cleans rather than passively cleans. So what I mean by this is it will analyze live based on its cameras and sensors just how dirty the room is. And it will return to vacuum and mop certain areas more than once if it deems that area is still dirty or extra dirty. It does this with what Narwhal calls its dirt sense technology by detecting how dirty the water is being sucked up amongst its camera sensors as well. And it does a pretty good job from what I can see with its web of cameras and LiDAR sensors to detect how much pressure and moisture needs to be applied to floors to get that perfect clean while avoiding obstacles too. It does a pretty good job at that too. So its mopping performance is outstanding, but what about its vacuuming? With the vacuum mode on, Frio uses the roller brush plus the side brushes to collect up dirt from carpet and rugs. When placed on these rugs here, which by the way have not been vacuumed for weeks, I just haven't had the time, there is a good layer of dust and gunk on it. The Frio does a solid job picking up that dust with its 3000 PA suction power. I even poured a bunch of shredded paper across the rug just to test out how much of it it can actually pick up. And it did a perfect job picking up every single shred. With all of its 3000 PA suction power, it's quieter than other robot vacuum cleaners I've tested coming down to about 50 to 60 decibels. So it's decently quiet as much as it's efficient and work from home friendly. You can turn this on and it won't be overly loud enough to distract you while working at home, which is great. It's also one of the first robot cleaners to be able to both vacuum and mop simultaneously, and that's no small feat. It will also intelligently prioritize vacuum or mopping modes based on the detected floor type automatically. There's actually a few more worthwhile features that set it apart and I think are worth mentioning. The smart swing mode on this ensures that it mops and vacuums much closer to the edge of the wall by using this unique rear twisting movement called smart swing in Frio mode. It has a smart path so it overlaps its routes for better cleaning coverage too. And it also features smart mopping, so it automatically creates and saves a map of your home based on its LiDAR sensors, and so it can better navigate around after its first few cleans. With all its features though, a heads up that the Frio lacks 5 GHz Wi-Fi support, and there isn't any sort of remote camera viewing functionality, which would have been really nice to see at this higher price point. All in all though, this is undoubtedly one of the more premium self-cleaning robot vacuums. It's incredibly feature rich, features that are genuinely helpful and not just gimmicky. I've been able to set up a cleaning schedule and trust that it'll do a great enough job that I do not need to mop after it myself. And for all of this, Narwhal has won multiple industry awards, including Time's Best Inventions to speak for its great design and technological prowess, but is the Narwhal Frio and self-cleaning robot vacuums actually worth it? 
Well, it comes down to affordability and how much you value your time. If you're an incredibly busy individual and getting back an hour of your time a week is significant to you, then the Narwhal Frio and Robot Vacuum Cleaners are a worthy investment at that $1,300 price point. For me, the Frio gives me a freshly lemon basil scented space and gives me back an hour of my time every week. And for that, it's worth it. And I also appreciate the fact that it looks like Eve from Wally. If you made it to the end of this video, comment the code word lemon squeezy and I'll give it a like. If you wanna see a tour of my office and studio, I'll leave a video up here for you to check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.